Hey folks, in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to connect to your EC2 instance in Tableau. Now, unfortunately, you can't just use the MySQL connector because, well, you do need to use that EC2 key that comes with your EC2 instance. And there's no real easy way to do that. If I go to the data source over here and I try to connect using uh, the MySQL connector, there's no parameter or there's no space where I can actually direct uh, my EC2 file, my EC2 key uh, as a parameter. So what we can do in fact is actually establish an SSH tunnel that's gonna allow us to enter our key file as a parameter and then connect through that SSH tunnel in Tableau. And I'm gonna walk you through that. So be sure to subscribe if you find content like this helpful. Before we go there, we do need to make sure everything on our checklist is up and running. So for instance, we do have to ensure by going into the EC2 uh, managed or AWS managed management console uh, that our EC2 instance is up and running. So here's my EC2 instance. You could see that the state is in a running state. And uh, while we're in there, we're gonna wanna grab this endpoint. So this endpoint or this public IPv4 is how we're gonna be able to connect to our EC2 instance. That's the public facing address that we're gonna use to establish this SSH tunnel. So be sure you have that. Um, as far as your MySQL instance, make sure that on your EC2 instance, you have MySQL or MariaDB or whatever up and running and that you do in fact have a database and its credentials uh, that allow you to access that database. Make sure you have the EC2 key file that comes uh, with your EC2 instance because that is required for you to be able to connect with it remotely and make sure you have the proper VPC inbound and outbound rules that allow you to connect and interact with your database uh, externally. So with that said, uh, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is open up uh, a terminal. So something that allows you to connect uh, via SSH. And then you're gonna type in this command, which I'm also gonna paste in the description here um, and maybe a, a picture or so that will allow you to better see this and understand. But effectively, what this command is doing is it's setting up an SSH tunnel. So we're actually gonna, in Tableau, we're gonna connect through port 8888 and it's gonna be local host. Uh, but over here, what we're passing over here is uh, the key file that I just uh, mentioned. So the EC2 key file, the credentials file, that's what you pass as a parameter over here. And then EC2 user, whatever user you're gonna connect with your EC2 instance, that's what goes over here. So in my case, it's EC2-user at, and then this is the endpoint for my instance. So whatever the endpoint is for your instance, uh, that's what you uh, enter over here. So I'm gonna hit enter over here and if you're connecting the first time, it might ask you to first hit yes or no. Uh, obviously hit yes if you are uh, in agreement with uh, what it's asking. So I've got, gone ahead and done that and now you can see I'm actually connected. So I'm logged in as EC2 user and I've established this SSH tunnel essentially. So what I can do now is I can go back into Tableau and remember how I mentioned now that we have an SSH tunnel established, the server I'm connecting to is actually localhost because with this SSH tunnel, it's as if I'm connecting to a local host. So I can just type in the local host address, which in this case is 127.0.0.1, port 8888. Again, we define that over here um, in the terminal as we were connecting via SSH. And then here's my database name, which is usually optional. I have my username over here for the database. So all of all of these are database credentials. The only thing that's localhost is uh, the address over here for the server and the port. So I'm gonna enter my password over here. I'm gonna hit sign in. And that should allow me to connect to my my SQL database or my MariaDB database within my EC2 uh, instance. So I'm gonna hit okay over here. And as you can see, it is getting the information uh, from my EC2 instance and now I'm connected. So it's that simple. Now I did do this on a Mac, but you could also do this on a Windows machine. Just be sure whatever terminal you use allows you to use SSH. And it's pretty much the same exact thing. I hope you guys found this helpful. If so, again, uh, leave a like, be sure to subscribe to the channel and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.